We're going to get right over to J.D. Rudd with what we are seeing right now this morning. Good morning to you. 530 on a Thursday, and here we are. First major snow for most of the area. Unless you live in the snow belt areas, this is probably your third, fourth go around already of the season so far. But for those who are seeing an ice blanket of snow for the first time, it always creates a few problems. The good news is the bulk of this coming through while many folks were sleeping. The Earth is going to find itself in the shadow of the moon thanks to the sun passing behind it. Here's a different way to look at this for us as this whole thing happens very quickly on that Monday afternoon. We'll be in the shadow of the moon as the sun passes right behind that lunar body of ours. 640 on this uh, early Friday morning. You know, our high temperatures have been waiting to jump over the 80s for a while, and I think they're going to do that starting today, and they're going to stay above the above the 80s for a little bit. Oh, whew. well, we'll talk more about this in the seven day forecast. Falcons and the Hawks, the teams there in Atlanta both made fun of the photo bomb on Twitter. The Falcons just saying, really, Marta, really, Marta, come on. What I am waiting for is whoever gets the interview with the gal driving the bus. Yes. <laughs> because she's, oh, this is a great scenic view. I'm Best at the view. right place at the right Best time. View. Let me give you a nice look at the sunrise this morning. Here, oh, Marta. <laughs> I just, really? I just really? move the bus. Thank you. Beautiful sunrise. Marta this gets morning. around. Marta is all over the place today. I tell you what. Including another record breaker in the weather department. So let's start with Power of Five meteorologist JD Rudd. Hey, you know the old rule of thumb never walk away from a heater. <coughs> That's it. Bless you. <laughs> All right, then. We have your opinion. TV before this so moment, one this morning. We'll clean that off the radar shortly. So we're on a <laughs> heater this morning uh, today. Five days in a row of 90 or hotter. Get that one with a tissue. Last time this happened, <laughs> 1959. Well, I will likely hit 90 or above today. And if we do that, we'll have six days in a row of 90 or hotter. That He's, he's an active boy. Yes, um, needs some room to run. Needs some room to run. Say. He's going to need oh. some basic training, but isn't it worth it? I mean, look how fantastic like he is. And not to mention, just so cute. Hi, 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 hi. I would do the same for you, but they would <laughs> frown on me if I start licking your face, too. God, how do you not love this dog? <laughs> We are 20 away from the 5 o'clock hour. Good morning, I'm Power 5 Meteorologist J.D. Rudd live at Progressive. If you're wanting to know the game time temperatures today, I've got these set more for the Lakeshore areas. I think whatever falls will be very light rain. Rainfall amounts around a tenth to maybe two tenths of an inch. So overall impacts very minimal. I think worst case scenario here, some squeaky shoes, some muddy areas out in the front lawn, perhaps some wet paws as well from the dog going in and out of the house. 541 on a Friday, a lot of things going on with that ice festival also happening this weekend, this Saturday and Sunday, 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 monster jam at the Q. Look at this. Look, wow, it's going to be a heck of a show this weekend. Should be good weather outside, great weather inside too. 63 on Saturday, record highs, 57 on Sunday. Be there, kids seats, five bucks. <laughs> That's what the guy sounds like. If you're heading down here later on today, here's what I want you to know about this forecast. Yes, we had some rain this morning, but later on today, I think we're dry. The lake breeze could be an issue as we go more into the evening, though those temperatures are going to cool down into the 50s. So my advice, bring a jacket with you this evening to Progressive. Things are going to change for us, I think, starting for tomorrow night and more so into Thursday. With the air blowing across the lake, the snow belt has the best chance at seeing some lake effect snow bands on Thursday, which is over the uh, Auburn and Bainbridge areas this morning. That, too, is sliding its way down to the south and to the southeast. Spin the radar up into motion here. And the overall trend, again, where you see the darker shades of blue, that's the heavier snow. It's working a little more inland, heading south, and then sliding a little more to the south and southeast, which for the time being has put those heavier snow bands away from the greater Cleveland area as we head toward 5 o'clock. Good news for those who may be commuting in. But 
out of southern Michigan blew up a little bit over the lake and now is starting to kick through and sweep through our area this morning. And the main concern here is some strong straight line wind at around 45 to 55 miles an hour. The strongest wind gust so far that we've seen in our weather bug network has been 40, uh, excuse me, 52 miles per hour. I do believe earlier this morning around the islands around put in Bay, there was a uh, 55 mile per hour wind gust. I think it was measured by one of the buoys out there. So uh, close to severe criteria, which is 58 miles an hour. Nonetheless, if it's rattling your windows and getting your attention by some means, that would be uh, severe for you. We have some heavy rainfall going on too. This morning, yes, cold for everybody and for a couple of areas, you're going to have to deal with some lake effect snow bands. We'll get you the Power 5 weather radar and show you the two areas that I'm watching. One on the west side, one on the east side. The one on the west side encompassing the West Lake and Parma areas, the other from Thompson to about Jefferson in Ashtabula County. Uh, heads up to those who are coming in from the west side. Now, later on today into tonight, a storm system will roll through. We'll find ourselves on the northeast side of this, which is the prime side for some heavy pocket it's a snow overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. By this time tomorrow, there is likely going to be a widespread one to three inches across the state. What the Weather Service is doing here is using some different wording, and they're saying that they're going to issue a severe thunderstorm warning, but a tornado is still possible. What this means is we've gone so long this morning without seeing anything actually hit the ground. They don't want to keep one of these warnings going for nothing, but there's still some concern here with some rotation in these storms. So the long-winded takeaway, as we go more to the next about 15 to 20 minutes, we're likely going to see more thunderstorm warnings issued Watch the red. This is the again the wind portion of the radar. Do you see this here? That's indicating some very strong straight line wind through Hudson and through about the Akron area as this storm continues to move to the south and southeast. So again, if you're just joining us here at the top of the six o'clock hour on News 5, we have an active tornado warning in place, which does include the city of Akron. It also includes Hudson, most of Summit County. This is set to go until 615. Then through Portage County, this warning here until 630 this morning. I'm showing you the wind portion of the Doppler radar because even if we don't get a tornado, out of this when you see these bright shades of red. Look at that. That's indicating some very strong straight line wind pushing its way out of this thunderstorm 